So, my name's Jen, and today I decided to paint a little foggy dude. I kind of am and awed about whether or not I wanted this to have a voiceover, because a lot of the other paint with me's don't. So, I just felt that it was kind of boring without it, and if you're playing it in the background, you know it's kind of nice to have someone talking to you. I won't talk much, so there will be music areas. Anyway, I really wanted to paint a frog. Why? Because I did a sketchbook spread of frogs and I really wanted to repaint the thing and I realized I haven't painted anything since last year. Basically when I did the Sims video that was the last time I painted. So I wanted to try again. My like acrylic paintings are never great. So But I think it's turned out okay. I think he came out pretty cute. I got my reference of Pinterest. He's a green tree frog, apparently. And you can see Phoebe and Puppy. They they literally don't leave me alone. I do a thing a lot where I just kind of stand where I paint. Because I don't actually feel like sitting down the whole time. So sometimes I stand. Also, if I'm trying to concentrate, I'll end up standing when I'm painting. So what I really enjoyed about the last painting I did, which was the Sims one as I said, was the background, the pinky purple background. So I went in and did a similar background again. I just think thought it was really really fun to, to have that pop of colour. I was going to go with a pop art frog style. I googled pop art animals and a frog came up and I was like yeah this is a sign. This is a sign that I need to paint a froggy boy. I love it um, in certain shots, it looks like the frog's nose is a smiley face and I think that's really cute looking even though it's not, I find that so funny.
I decided to take this picture outside and get as many different angles as I could of this little frog guy. So as I said before, my name is Jen. I post every Thursday. My videos are generally art related. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!